So I never really planned on making any lists for 2023 for the UFC or MMA in general, but I'm sick. You know what I mean? I've got, I'm in isolation. I'm away from work for a week. I've got the free time now needed to make a list like this or make lists like this. So I'm probably going to make some more in the future, uh, maybe over the next few days. But some of these takes are hot. These are my 10 big UFC predictions. Some of them will make you think that I'm a complete idiot, honestly. But I, I do have my reasons for them. Some of them probably won't hit. Maybe they're, they're pretty out the gate. Some of them are pretty crazy. But um, yeah, these are 10 big predictions, man. And I'm, I'm just going to start off. The, the first two are pretty mild. Um, and then and then it does heat up a little bit from there. So uh, let's get into it, guys. Uh, the first one is... I've got to scroll down a little bit more. Um, women's featherweight. It's not going to exist at the end of 23, 23. I think they're going to get rid of it. I think Amanda Nunes is going to defend her belt at women's bantamweight, probably against the winner of Ketlin Vieira versus Raquel Pennington. I think it will be Vieira. I think Matt Nunes will then fight Vieira. And then um, after she defends her belt at bantamweight, I think the UFC is just going to be like, hey, let's get rid of women's featherweight. Like, there's, there's the, the, it doesn't even exist. Like, look, look at this. It's, it's Nunes on top. And no one there. The, the The division doesn't exist. There's and even then, there's like three fighters that fight at one one forty five. Like it's just not a real division. It's not. There's no contenders. There's no ranking system. There's not even five fighters in the division in total. It's gone. It, it means nothing. It's a waste of time. It was made for a Chris Cyborg to come, and then Nunes beat her, and it's gone. It's done. Woman's flyweight. Uh, featherweight. Sorry, I think it's gone. The next one. Not that hot of a take, but a take I do believe in. I think Alejandro Pantoja is going to get a title shot in 2023, and I think he's going to win. I think he's going to become the champion at 2023, but to make it a little bit more spicy, I do think he will be the champion at the end of 2023 as well. Not really a hot take. Probably a take I probably could have just made a separate video about who I think is going to be the champion at the end of 2023 at each weight class, but um, <clears throat> little cough, little cough. Um, Yeah, I think Pantoja is the 125 champ. He's got two wins over Moreno. One of them was exhibition at um, Ultimate Fighter. One win over Kaikara France as well at Ultimate Fighter. And he beat Miranda Moreno in a professional UFC fight as well. A uh, pretty good win. He has lost recently in 2020, but he's gone undefeated since then. Three fight win streak over top contenders. I think he's ranked uh, pretty highly as well. He's actually ranked number two. I think he, I think he uh, beat I think he beats Davis and Figueroa and Moreno as well. Either one. I know he's lost to Figueroa in the past, but I think he beats the winner of that fight. Now the next one, you can kind of see his name, Alex Fajaya. It's, it's in the top of the. It's in the top. Let's, let's go to Alex Fajaya here. This is a bold one. This is a write an angry comment one. This is a this is a this is a rage quit the video maybe one. This is this is a big one, boys. It depends on something though, but Alex Fajaya will still be the champion at the end of 2023. I think he beats Israel Adesanya in the rematch. A lot of people think that, and I'm pretty sure he's going to knock out Israel Adesanya faster than he did in the rematch. But, I think he beats Robert Whitaker as well. And that's a hot take. But the thing about Alex Fajaya is this guy just recently transformed over to MMA full time. You know, he, he was... Literally taking kickboxing super seriously in 2021, and he only really started going full time in MMA at the end of 2021. And he's going to be making rapid improvements. He already has. You've already seen the rapid improvements, even from the four months between the Bruno Silva fight and the Sean Strickland fight. He had a competitive fight with Bruno Silva, and then knocked out Sean Strickland in one round. And then he went from knocking out Sean Strickland in one round to knocking out Israel Adesanya in a fight he was behind in the fifth round. I think he beats Israel Adesanya in the rematch. I think he beats Robert Whitaker as well, because he's making rapid improvements in his wrestling and grappling. But he doesn't beat Kamzat Chemaev. But the thing with Kamzat Chemaev is this is really dependent though, because I feel like Kamzat Chemaev is going to stay at one seventy, because I think there's bigger matchups for him there, and he doesn't really seem too keen on fighting Robert Whitaker either, because he's he said he wants to be friends with Whitaker or train with Whitaker or something like that. But I think Kamzat Chemaev knows that one seventy is weight class. I don't know what happened last time. Considering uh, before he got ill in that period of time, he made weight on like five days' notice and fought Reese McKee on like five days' notice or something like that at 170 pounds. But anyway, if comes up Chimaev doesn't come up to 185, I think Alex Fahey is still going to be the champion at the end of 2023. The next one, in regards to a champion, 
Valentina Shevchenko will lose her belt in 2023. But once it, it just depends on if she's going to fight in 2023, though, because she fought once in 2022. Like, I mean, come on, man. She fought once in 2022, like, and it was a split decision to Tyler Santos. And now Tyler Santos is fighting Aaron Blanchfield. I think the winner of that fight beats Shevchenko. I think Tyler Santos would be able to make the improvements and the adjustments required to beat Shevchenko in a rematch. And it was a headbutt that opened up the swelling over her eye and the cut on the eye, whatever it was, um, that did um, hurt her, hurt Santos during the fight. So I think that a Santos, man, coming into the next fight will have the advantages. Shevchenko's not getting any younger. She's 34. She doesn't really seem to be making any improvements, really. I mean, she went four rounds with Lauren Murphy. I mean... Come on, man. Like, Andrade's going to knock out Lauren Murphy within two rounds and make Shevchenko look silly. But, yeah, I think Shevchenko loses her belt. I think she beats Manon Fiorot if that fight happens. But I think she loses the winner of Santos and Blanchfield. Even though Blanchfield's striking is pretty terrible. This next one. All right, all right, all right. Another hot one. You might see Paddy Pimblett's name come up. And you might think I'm going to say that Paddy Pimblett's going to lose in 2023. Not the case, Chief. My prediction, as much as I don't like Paddy Pimblett really, and as much as I don't think he's that great, and as much as I think he is going to lose soon, I think Paddy Pimblett's going to go undefeated in 2023. I don't think he's going to fight three times like he did this year, or in 2022, he fought three times. I think he's going to fight twice, and he's going to fight against very hand-picked opponents. Like, I'm talking, like, I'm talking big step down in competition. I'm talking Gabriel Benitez. Paddy Pimblett versus Gabriel Benitez. I'm talking maybe at a stretch, Paddy Pimblett versus Claudio Puelles. I'm talking Paddy Pimblett versus, um, if he's still on the roster, Eric Gonzalez. Like, we're talking, we're talking, like, low, man. Like, I feel like there's a lot of guys that Paddy Pimblett would lose to, man. There's at least 25 people in the, in the lightweight division that would beat Paddy Pimblett and finish him. Like, Paddy, I mean, I, I mean, I think he's going to be careful. I think he's going to be very, very careful in how he plays his tickets in 2023. But the thing with Paddy Pimblett is, <coughs> sorry, even if he does try to charge up the rankings, I can't trust him to be making the rapid improvements that he's going to need if he wants to be a world champion. Because how seriously does Paddy Pimblett really take it? You know what I mean? And that's a big question. I feel like how seriously does Paddy Pimblett take his MMA career? Because we're seeing him get out of shape. We're seeing him put on lots of weight. He can't be training full time than being that out of shape. Because I'm sure these MMA fighters train hard and they will train for hours a day out of camp. I'm sure keeping the skills up, refining the skills, learning new things, this and that and that and that. How's Paddy Pimblett putting on all of this weight if he's training every day for hours a day? You know what I mean? Like. I question how much he takes it seriously. And even then, when Paddy Pimblett was first on the come-up and he got signed to the UFC, someone DM'd me saying to watch out for this guy because he's uh, he knows him and, and he knows that Paddy, P and Paddy Pimblett outside of fighting, he, he's, he's out in the pub, he's, he's drinking, he's doing this and that, this and that. I, I believe it, man. I don't know how seriously Paddy Pimblett's taking his career and I feel like it's starting to show up. But I do think he's going to go undefeated in 2020. Um, I think he's going to go undefeated in 2023. Because he's going to handpick opponents that he can beat. And he's going to fight twice. That's another little prediction there. The next one. The opposite. I don't think Kamaru is going to win in 2023. I th He's out injured to start with. He's out injured. He's probably not going to fight uh, Leon Edwards because he's injured until like July or August of, of this year, 2023. And I don't think he's going to fight after that. So that's my hot take. Kamaru Usman's going to fight once in 2023. And he's going to lose to Leon Edwards. I think Leon Edwards beats him in the trilogy. And the reason is there's so many reasons behind it. In fact, I'll probably make a whole video about it, talking about it for like 10 minutes. But to quickly summarize, Kamaru Usman's injured again. He's not getting any younger. The fight's not going to be at elevation, which gave Usman such a massive advantage the first time. We saw Leon Edwards outgrapple Kamaru Usman in the first round. And then completely gas out like the entire card did. That location was set up for Usman to win because Usman trains at elevation. And has absolutely ridiculous cardio, despite admitting that he can't run, what, like, he can't run a couple of miles? He can't run a couple of kilometers because his knees are so busted? 
Anyways, the point is, Usman's old, man. He's so injured. He's so he's so old in fighting years as well. And Leon Edwards, man, he's just so much better on the feet than Usman. I know everyone went on about Usman's boxing. I picked Leon Edwards in the first fight, by the way, to get some context. Uh, I thought I thought Edwards was going to win a decision. It was looking like that in the first round. It wasn't looking like that between rounds two, three, and four. Um, but yeah, I think Usman loses in 2023, and I think he doesn't win in 2023. I think because he's injured, he's going to sit out for a while. Edwards is probably going to defend... Honestly, it's going to sound so stupid. I think Edwards is going to defend his belt against Jorge Masvidal. I know, I know, I know how dumb it sounds, but I think that's actually what's going to happen. And then Usman is going to fight Leon Edwards towards the end of this year, maybe July or August, and he's not going to fight again in 2023. And he's going to lose. The next one is... Who is this guy? Who's George Hardwick? He's not in the UFC. That's my point. It's not a big take, it's not a super hot take, but it was a take that I come up with, and um, I thought it was a pretty good one. So, both Hardwick brothers will sign with the UFC this year, and I'm going to make it spicier. They're going to be on Dana White's Contender Series, and they're going to be on the same episode like the Bombfiend brothers were. So, George Hardwick and his brother Harry Hardwick will both be on Dana White's Contender Series on the same episode, and they will both win... And they will both get contracts. I feel like that's a bold enough prediction to put on this list, right? The next one. Not too spicy at first glance. It's Luke Rockhold's going to come out of retirement again. He posted on Instagram kind of saying something that he's going to come out. And it kind of gave me an idea for this pick. But I'm going to say make it a little bit more spicy and a little bit more on there. Um, I'm going to pick the opponent that he's going to return against. Luke Rockhold's going to return against Sean Strickland. I think it's a good fight. I think it's a good matchup for Luke Rockhold. I think it's a good matchup for Sean Strickland. I think it's perfect. So, Luke Rockhold versus Sean Strickland will happen at some time in 2023. But one half of the prediction is that Luke Rockhold will come out of retirement. So, if Luke Rockhold comes out of retirement to start with, it won't be a win on my prediction. It will just be like, a, oh yeah, like kind of, like 50% was correct. You know what I'm saying? The next one. Opposite. This is a crazy take. This is this is another this is a hater of a take. A hater. John Jones will not fight in 2023. I just don't believe he's coming back. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced this man comes back. I will not believe it. I won't even believe it at the weigh-ins. I won't believe that he's coming back until he's in that octagon in the face-off. And he's there's a, the referee is telling them the rules or we went over the rules and he's touching gloves and then they're in the fight. I don't believe he's coming back. I think John Jones... I don't know what it is about John Jones. I just don't think he's coming back, man. I don't think he's coming back. Um, Yeah. It would be so crazy, though. Did he fight at USC 200? No, he didn't. I was going to say, imagine he fought at USC 100 and 200. But he didn't. Um, Yeah. He beat... Beat Reyes in 2020. We thought he was going to come back in 2021. He didn't. We thought he was going to come back in 2022. He didn't. We thought he was going to come back in 2023, which is this year. He ain't coming back, man. He's not coming back. I've given up hope. I've given up hope. And this next one here kind of contradicts the first one, or the John Jones one. Sergei Pavlovich will be the UFC champion. So just imagine this photo here with the UFC belt, and it's Sergei Pavlovich. I think Sergei Pavlovich becomes the UFC heavyweight champion. But it does depend, don't it? You know what I mean? Like, if John Jones comes back and fights Francis Ngannou or Curtis Blades for the vacant title if Ngannou decides that he's, that he's done or whatever, I don't know. Pavlovich is probably going to have to fight someone in the meantime, and who's he going to fight in the rankings? It's a tough one. This is a weird call, I know, I know. But I do think, I do believe in it. Um, let's look at the heavyweight rankings real quick. So Pavlovich comes back, and maybe he fights Mircic. He knocks out Mirchich in the first round, which is what I do think he would do because it's Sergei Pavlovich. Or Cyril Gunn. Or Cyril Gunn, because Cyril Gunn's not on the talks. It's Francis Ngannou versus John Jones, or John Jones versus Curtis Blades. Pavlovich is ranked number three. So Pavlovich knocks out Mirchich in the first round, makes everyone cry, and then knocks out Ngannou, or John Jones, or Curtis Blades, or Garn, whoever's the, the, the champion at the time. I, th I think Pavlovich is going to have a massive 2023. I think he's going to become the champion. So let me know what you thought about those those those, those grilled takes. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I feel like they're pretty spicy takes. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. I feel like maybe I overhyped the Alex Bahia one. It's just that I've never seen anyone else have the same prediction as me about that situation. So 
yeah, I'm just going to burn time so I can cut this video off at 15 minutes exactly, because that would be kind of cool. But then when I upload it, it'll be like 15.01. Well, 